whoa sir just chill relax i don't have any money i'm broke you know i'm out here struggling just like you are please just put the knife down just please please don't take another step i'm dude i'm telling you i told you bro i told you <laughs> What's going on, good people? Sweezy28 here, bringing you guys a little, you know, overview on the Light Tuck Holster by Vetter for the Sig P365. All right, so this is my new carry gun. This is replacing my Glock 19, and man, I love this gun, and I love this holster. Now, this is not my first Vetter holster. This is my second one. Uh, I got one for my Glock 19. I fell in love with it. Vetter, they make good quality holsters you have a lot of customization whenever you're uh, you know picking out a vetter holster you have a lot of options and that's why i feel like they are the best on the market when it comes down to holsters and they are american made down in florida so if you guys do find this video helpful informative or whatever be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new especially like if you support the second amendment all right so let's go ahead and get into the holster and its features i'm gonna try not to make this video too long because i talk a lot and i like to go into details about stuff because i like people to know so the gun is clear there's the round from the chamber right there the gun is clear i promise you we're not gonna be playing with the gun too much anyways so the holster man it's a very it's a beautiful holster i'm not gonna lie it's well made uh so let's talk about some of the features right quick and i got like a little cheat sheet because sometimes i might be forgetting shit so gotta have a little cheat sheet you know what i'm saying just just like high school all over again <laughs> so uh they are handmade to order uh so whenever you place your order on a vetter holster they are handmade uh so i mean that's that's good to know that you know it's not made by like some type of machine and they do hand make these of course they use like you know equipment and stuff like different machines and stuff but for the most part uh you know that there's a person making this holster and not a fucking robot so that's always a plus so uh first thing uh you do got your adjustable retention so you can adjust your retention right here and we'll talk about the claw in just a second you got your adjustable retention it is a kydex holster so you know you're gonna need that adjustable retention so you could you know uh fine fine tune how how tight how how tight or loose you want it to be whenever you're drawing uh and you also have a 30 degree adjustable cant here so all you do is just slide this forward and back and you could tighten that down to you know lock it in place now if you want to use some loctite uh the kind of like it won't be permanent but if you want it to be more secure you could always use some blue loctite i do not recommend using red loctite but use blue so yeah adjusting the can is good uh because this will determine how you know the angle that it will be inside your pants and your drawing and everything so if that's something that you're interested in then by all means do that i don't really play with the cant too much uh you also have adjustable ride height so if you look right here you got these little holes you can you know take these two screws out and put them in you know different places and then that will determine how well uh well how it will sit inside your pants some people like their gun to be deeper inside their pants i just find the way that it comes to be fine not really a big issue and yeah oh another thing this clip is made out of steel so this is not a plastic clip not a polymer uh clip it's a steel clip and it is strong so once it's around that belt it's not it's not coming off I'm trying to get you guys a better better angle of it but it's a very strong clip as you guys can see i'm kind of struggling with getting the clip up a little bit so once once it's on that belt it's not going anywhere and they do make different clip sizes uh for different belt sizes i believe they have well this one fits the 1.5 inch uh size belts and they do have one for 1.75 inch belts and you can get an option well they do have an option that will fit both 
uh, but that does cost a little bit more money. And this holster, it's not the most expensive holster in the world and it's not the cheapest. It's kind of like right there in the middle, coming in at around like $65. And you know, plus a few modifications. Uh, you know, mine came out to be like 75, which isn't too bad uh, for a good quality holster. You guys gotta remember, this is not a cheap holster. All right, this is built to last. It's not gonna break on you, very durable. So you're getting what you're paid for. Not to mention that they do have options for left-handed and right-handed draw. I am left-handed, so I chose the left-handed draw. I'm gonna show you guys right quick. You guys probably seen it in the intro, but when it's sitting in my pants like this, I draw with my left hand, pull my gun up. So that's, that's a very neat feature. A lot of companies out here, they only make guns that are right-handed draw only. I don't understand that. I mean, I do understand that majority of the market is right-handed uh, and, you know, they use right-handed draw, but you got to think about, you know, the lefties as well. So that's, that's a nice little thing there. And now we're going to talk about this claw. So this claw, basically what it does, it pulls the frame closer to your body for better concealment. And that's the best way I can explain it. They do have, you know, uh, videos on how to, you know, put this on and really if you order your holster with the claw and the claw does cost a little bit more money they'll they'll install it for you if you already have a better holster uh, that doesn't have a claw I believe you can still buy one from the website and you can put it on yourself uh, and it really does help with that with that concealment uh, and you know you you won't print as much when you do have the claw on so uh, I just went ahead and got it on. I mean, why not have that better concealment for the extra five bucks? You know, might as well. The holster, and I did get this holster in OD Green. They have a lot of different colors. They have like over 75 different colors to choose from. Some kind of variate in price. So you just gotta find the color that you like and uh, just just go with it and you know black is fine as well my first holster that I got from Vetter was black but I think from now on I'm just gonna start getting different colors because these colors do look very very nice and lastly uh, this holster is it's not bulky you know there's not a lot of sharp edges and and stuff is very smooth and sleek you, as you guys can see like it's rounded so this isn't gonna like jab you or poke you and give you any discomfort this is a very comfortable holster and I, I really do like their holsters. It's just very comfortable. I don't have any type of issues with it or anything. You know, you guys can see, you, you guys can see like the bevels and just how, how smooth, how smooth this holster is. You could just kind of like tell it was just handmade. This doesn't look like something a robot did. This, you know, is just a, an amazing holster and I recommend uh, Vetter holsters for anyone that's looking to get uh get into the concealed carry uh, if you're a first time uh concealed carrier i and and you're looking for a holster i definitely recommend vetter you cannot go wrong with the vetter holster not too pricey they're not cheap either but you know like i said you're getting what you paid for and you're getting the quality all right so now i'm gonna show you guys how it conceals on my body i'm gonna start off with the you know appendix and then i'll move over to like 10 o'clock nine o'clock ish whatever so we're gonna get my pants right some these pants are a little bit big so uh now the belt i'm using is one of their belts that they make and it fits perfectly so go ahead and tighten it down a little bit get it nice nice tight close to the body and there you go can't even tell you cannot even tell. Can't tell. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Very easy to conceal. Very comfortable. You know, I could sit down and drive and, you know, not even worry about it, you know, bothering me. I won't have to take it off for anything. Now I'm gonna show you guys about nine o'clock. Somewhere around there. But this is how I kind of carry it when I'm at work. Let me loosen this belt up a little bit. 
Well, come on. Uh, sometimes I struggle to get this thing on. There we go. All right, it's completely around that belt clip. I meant my belt. And uh, there we go. You know, can't even tell. So that's pretty much it for the light tuck from Better for the CHP365. I give it a 10 out of 10. This is one of the best holsters you could probably get for the money uh, as of right now. So I do strongly recommend you guys go out and get you guys a uh, holster by Better. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it informative, helpful. And uh, yeah, be sure to give me a like and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sweezy two way out. Peace.